I may have said this before, but what is it with fantasy films these days? Like, so many of them are going direct to video, and I don't get it. Like, now I understand, you know, stuff from like the asylum and such where they really do <laughs> skimp on on the the budget there. But a lot of these films are, you know, like. The costumes are really, really good. The locations are really, really good. They even get some actors a lot of the time, you know, like, you know, have some kind of a draw to them. And yet they're still just going directly to video. And I don't get it, you know? Such as the case with Ironclad. This is the sequel, Battle for Blood, I believe. I believe there is an original Ironclad. And I don't remember if that one went directly video or if it had a theatrical or not I don't know I can't remember I do not remember but I mean just looking at this it looks like it's got some production values to it I don't I don't know but it just seems so odd so odd I mean these costumes just, they cost money man they cost money all that armor I don't know maybe there's just so much armor out there and it's become easy you know that it's easy enough to make these days uh, you know, and make it look like realistic armor on, on screen. I don't know. But here we go. We will do a comparison. Here is the slip. Here is the regular cover. And as you can see right off the bat, there is a small, slight difference there. Um, with the, you know, the, I don't know, what would you, would you call that gold? It looks gold. Um, <laughs> instead of the blue. Um, but outside of that, it's actually, it's it's got an iridescence to it. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not but there I think you're catching it there with the light there is an iridescence which isn't on this but other than that it's the exact same picture and then looking at the back mongrel has essentially done the exact same for both no difference whatsoever um, obviously slight shrinking but other than that it is the same now I'm checking to see if it's got yeah, it's got a little bit of that iridescent shine, you know, all the, the gold and stuff, you can really pick that out. Um, but yeah, there is definitely a slight iridescence to the slip, but nothing really major. And when we open it up, we see that we've got disc art, which is the front cover. And as you can see, there is some reversible artwork, which is... I have no idea. It is... You would think this would be the French, but instead of being the French, it's exactly the same. So here's the, the cover that I, I you know showed you at the beginning. Here's the cover. It's the same thing. Um, and even with the the back here, um, here's the, the original back. English, French, all English. English, French, all English. There's there's no there's no reason for it. I I don't get it. This isn't the first time I've seen this from a release, and I think the last one was also a Mongol release. Talk about just wasting money. Like, seriously. <laughs> I I, I don't get it. I really, I, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But there you go. <laughs> Ironclad, Battle for Blood, the sequel to Ironclad on Blu-ray Unbox. You know what's going inside. Or, I don't know what's going on inside, so maybe you have a better idea. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next video, take care. Have a good one.